So you'll notice now what we've done <clears throat> is MT Dev user can only see the dev database. Can't see test or prod. Yep. If I log out and come in as MT test user. Sign in. Test user can only see test database, right? Yeah. And that should be enough. Don't need to see prod. And so warehouses, let me just test, uh, log back out again. Come back in, there's the sysadmin. Warehouses, <clears throat> I do have separate dev test prod, okay? Also created this new warehouse, which uh, we started to leverage for some other testing. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, if I jump back into Power BI, you can see this. So I've got a deployment pipeline called Final Test Multi-User. You can see this deployment pipeline. Yeah. And effectively what I've done is the parameters that roll through this pick up warehouse end database. And so when you go into these guys, I'll jump into the dev one. And so in my warehouse's history, I've got it on auto refresh. Okay, so been some stuff happening. last night with this new warehouse and then looks like I've picked up a little bit of a don't know what's going on there anyway let's try and refresh dev have a quick look at the table first so it's bringing back the dev records and if I do a refresh here we should see something come through. You have to refresh. Yeah. Yeah, it came as dev issue. Okay, so empty dev user, empty dev warehouse. Okay. This morning. <clears throat> if I jump back in here. Back to deployment pipeline. Come into here. Okay, last refresh was last night. Okay, so let's refresh that one. Let's have a look what comes through Snowflake. There's empty test user and empty test. So far so good. Go back into the deployment pipeline just to check record return. Tables. Test records and even after a second refresh, we should get another one. That's probably is a bit too soon. There we go. Empty test user, empty test, right? And just to confirm. Let's go back and do dev one more time. Jump in here. Empty dev is empty dev. Just for the skeptics, let's go and do prod. So prod has been set with these parameters, MT prods, close, jump into here. Let's go have a look at the table level.
There's the prod record, do a refresh. There's your prod user. So unless I'm missing something, that's all working now. <clears throat> now what I did last night is you noticed that I had this new warehouse user. So I went through and recreated this whole development pipeline only using new warehouse. And what was interesting is it actually wouldn't work. It actually was giving me these errors. So um, I think what we should try today, maybe Jose and Daniil, is try this concept of the multiple warehouses. Speaking to Oswald yesterday, he kind of said it's a best practice anyway, because if you get your Power BI uh, usage report working, you'll be able to measure the, the, the usage, usage separately rather than just having the one warehouse. But it seems to be the case that there's a quirk in Power BI that it stores the first time you log in via warehouse and database, it stores those credentials in the back end cache. And unless you keep separate, unless you allow it to store separate ones of these, effectively it keeps this somewhere in the back end. Right, so it's storing that in the cache somewhere in the back end with the username and password. And if you ever use that again, it'll use the old one that it knows about, right? So if you look at the other ones, you'll see that there's, gosh, my, my navigation is terrible. I'm always going the long way, apologies. But if you look at this one, the reason this is working is you'll notice it's storing a separate instance, all right? So it's in the back end cache, it's uh, got like a unique key against this string and the username and password to log into that one in particular. So that's the trick. I think Power BI needs those to be separated. If you look at prod, it's the same thing. Come in here, look at the data flow. Again, there's two, but you'll notice that this one is unique as well. Okay, so when you deploy it, it brings across the old one, but because you then inject the new parameters, it picks up the correct login and allows it to work. 